if you're registered to vote, can you say yes? Yes. yes. Wow. Okay, so in 2007, I got a voter file. There's 20 million people in New York. There were 12 million registered voters in New York. And then a month later, I got a new voter file, and there were 10 million voters. Kind of weird, huh? So um, it turned out that the Board of Elections had dropped 2 million records. And so the first thing I did was found votersearch.org and allow everyone in New York State to be able to verify their voter registration. And that's because when I went to the Board of Elections and said, oh my god, you're missing tw 2 million records, they said, it's okay, don't worry about it. So I'm trying to get to a government that's proactive and does things instead of said, saying, whoops, there's a problem, let's just leave it alone. Uh, I went to Raj because I, I was on, uh, at the time, Bluehost, and I wrote a query to dedupe the uh, 10 million database versus the uh, 12 million database, and each, one, each record had uh, 40 records. It was, it was 40, 400 columns. 40 columns or something like that. So I, I ran down Bluehost, and it was taking about two or three months because it was a shared service, and they sent me an email saying, please leave our, our hosting environment. <laughs> and so then I got my own server and uh, started running the query myself. And three months later, it was starting to spit out some results, and I went to Raj, and I said, Raj, can you do this? And he said, sure, let me throw it at a bunch of Oracle servers. And I think three days later, he got us the responses of, who had been dropped from the database. So uh, that's kind of what started getting me into politics in a very real sense because people weren't paying attention and it was clear that people lacked the skills. After we put up voter search, I gave it to the Board of Elections for free. The Board of Elections then paid a vendor $180,000 to build something that I had already built in 100 lines of code. And then when that vendor delivered it, it didn't work. So on that day when it didn't work, which is a couple of days before election day, I then resent the code and said, by the way, the product you spent $180,000 on doesn't work. Would you like to use mine? And they said, sure. So um, you can go to the Board of Elections site now and verify your voter registration and voter search is actually still there.